I'm here at Paddock Gears to talk to Dave Marklu exactly about why he bought this shark machine. It's the first twin pallet. I mean, look at the size of it. This will be an interesting one. Um, we were very lucky at the time because most of these machines were in build. And um, I went to Rob Prosser, who I've known for many years, and he's a very experienced engineer. So I trusted Rob in what machines uh, were available and what we could buy and Rob came up with the um, Parpos machines um, and we looked into them and we've been very very impressed with them. Paddock Gear we manufacture large components for marine and um, power generation really that's that's what we manu manufacture and mainly based in. Uh, we sell our products all around the world. The old machines, they'd come to the end of their life and we were looking for machines that we knew would be capable of holding 12 microns on a metre PCD. Reliability and also backup on the machines uh, from a breakdown sort of situation. Uh, the problems we were having really were hole positions. Um, as the machine wore out, we were getting more and more errors, but we did manage just about to achieve the tolerances. Um, and then we invested in these new machines to take that problem away from us, really. I've known Rob Prosser from Leader for, for many years, and I trust him. And Rob's a, a very good engineer, and we both went through the spec on the machine and these machines were really the only ones um, Europe manufacture who ticked all the boxes for the accuracy of, of what we needed. And we were very, very lucky at the time that these machines were in, in build. So we managed to pull them forward really. So you was looking probably six, seven months for this machine from the order of actually having it landed uh, on the floor. And then it was probably about a month to install it. Uh, because we did have to dig the floor out uh, for stability of the machine. The accuracy on the holes is far, far better than what we thought we could achieve. Um, on a metre PCD, uh, we were looking 12 microns, we, we would have been lucky. We were achieving 6 microns on some components, but then again, we are in a temperature controlled environment, uh, which does make a big difference. The shark machine we bought, we can achieve 1.6 metres from the table to the gauge line of the spindle, which gives, gives us a real massive envelope of long components, tall components. And also now we've managed to manufacture gear teeth on this machine together with accurate holes, has saved us a lot of time um, on other machines. Uh, before we had, had these, this machine, we were manufacturing our gears on, on uh, our electronic gear shaping machines. Um, but the pro productivity now with moving it onto these machines with the holes has just changed our manufacturing basis. Very impressed with it. And the tooth finishes as well. On a one metre uh, PCD gear, we can achieve DIN 5 spec. No problem at all. That's equal to gear grinding. And also the, the, the cost of shipping the parts out for gear grinding. And of course, there aren't many people who can gear grind that size in the UK anyway. We're not classed as a premier gear manufacturer. We, we, um, it was just that we do manufacture gears for our product. So this was a spin-off really. Um, with buying the machine, it was capable of doing this, this product. The idea of this twin pallet machine was so that we could work through the night and manufacture two components through 24 hours. And with the sister tooling, um, it's just opened up our production immensely, really. When we first bought this machine, we were sceptical of the finishes. Um, but what it's achieving on quality of holes, roundness, um, finish on gear teeth, it's just phenomenal. We're, we're so impressed with it. 